Hey again, this is Mastercam course. We're gonna talk about the Mastercam multi-access toolpath operations here. So you can see our email address, WhatsApp link, and YouTube link also. So in that lecture, we're gonna talk about the multi-access and the with and the aggregate tool. So for example, if you have a three axis and the vertical machine, and for example, like this, X, Y, and Z axis, so if you intend to use and the sum and the more access to use so that's why you can be able to use the aggregate tools here that tools gonna help you to create extra and the access to and the handle your and complex product in a one time so okay we're gonna talk about that process so we can also see the different type of and the tool for example, that one. So this is X, Y, and Z axis, for example. As you can see that when I use and that aggregates tool in my and the three axis vertical machine, so it means that I can easily be able to use the Y and Z axis as my step over and the Z axis my step down axis here. So for example, if you intend to create that kind of circle, so you can easily be able to and create Y and Z axis and the perspective and here of course. So maybe I should draw and the sum and the box here. For example, this is and maybe and we call it cube like this. Okay, and that is our cube. That one and that one that one and that one of course so and normally and I can only be able to cut on and that area that that face because this is our Z axis here for example that is maybe X that is Y this is Z axis here okay this is z axis and the x axis and the y axis here so in that case of course i can only use the x y plane and it is called g and 70 like this so i can only be able to cut and did that curve or that circle only if you intend to use the only the three axis vertical CNC machine but and sometimes you need to cut and on that face or that face in the same time because you don't wanna and you don't wanna the cut and that face by using the different and redesign process so we intend to cut and the and the three circle in a side in, uh, in the same process so that's why we need to use yz axis and xz axis here so in that case i can easily be able to use y and z axis by using that stuff also z and uh, x and z axis in the same time okay so let's see some example here and I prepared some and uh, some cubic product here. This is my X Y plane. This is my Y Z plane, and this is my X Z plane here. So my intention uh, to create some toolpath according to that circle, that circle on the Y and Z axis according to that VCS, that coordinate system. So of course, in that process and the my and step down axis x axis here according to that coordinate system and 80 and 65 millimeters after that by using the y and z axis movement by using the g2 and the circular interpolation function so i can easily create and the sum ramp or and and another process to create toolpath for that circle on y and z plane okay this is and some example of it 
also we can also create and the same and perspective here so you can see here z and z axis y axis and x axis here my intent uh, to cut on the x and z axis circle on that face so i can create and that toolpad here so in that case my step and my step down axis y axis so y minus and 55 and y minus 50 40 you can see that that is positive and this is negative axis so that's why i am reaching minus 5 to 5 to minus 40 millimeters here after that of course i need to use and the x and z and circular interpolation process here that's why i am using a and k process here but in that case i am using g and k because it is and only y and z so that's why i am using here x and z so that's why i am using and the a and k process here so that's it this is the process and i can intend to create and that hole that hole and that hole in the same time in the same process otherwise of course and i need uh, i need to disassemble that product after that of course create and the new position so maybe there is some geometrical turns according to that hole so i and need to and use and the aggregate tool also master cam to handle that kind of and the tool pad here okay we can also see the different and the type of tool like that one and that one we can also see the that kind of tool here so as you can see that there is some and the angel here i can also be able to create that kind of and the tool pad by using master cam and in yeah in that page and we, uh, i'm gonna show you and the which sector use that kind of stuff normally and the wood sector or and the some and the, the other sector use that kind of stuff and stuff we can also see the that kind of aggregate tool and the one two three and four tools or that one only one or that one is only two it's also possible to use and the, that kind of process here okay and of course there is another way of use uh, usage these options and of course we and we can also see the that kind of stuff in the civil slate turning uh, civil slate turning process in the civil slate turning process you can see some and the product here according to my product of course you can see the and the y and tool here one tool here and the another tool here we can also see the sum and the two turret here two spindle here this is one turret this is turret two and this is turret three we can also see and the, of course and the and two spindle here and it's also possible to create and some synchronize and the spindle speed movement here so and we can see the y one x one y two z one x two and z two and in that kind of cnc machine we can see the and the three screen one screen is here and the other one is here like this other one is here so i can write my program according to that turret here on that screen on that screen and to control the y2 and and the that one and that one is also control x2 and z2 axis so of course by using the that stuff we can also write here weight section here weight screen weighted and screen 2 and the other one screen 3 and maybe i can also use the both of them in the same time for example i can cut my product by using only that turret in, in the same time i can also use the that one so that's why i can easily handle and the, that's kind of stuff by using the and the series late turning process anyway 
Uh, okay, it is also possible to create and the sum and the G code by using and that process that and the uh, and aggregates tool process. For example, this is our Z axis, X axis and Y axis. And this is the C axis. Of course, maybe I should draw and the sum uh, picture here. So that one C axis, of course. So okay and this is x y and z axis here so and my step over plane y and z y and z axis here so of course my step down plane z -ax uh, x axis so i can easily create that kind of nc code by using of course mastercam okay okay i'm gonna show you and the sum and video here so this is our first and example here i'm gonna click it and after that i'm gonna show it to you thank you very much for listening to me